Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how you can install Arch Linux with the GNOME desktop environment in a virtual machine. In my case, KVM. Let's jump in. First of all, we need to create a virtual machine. First step is to choose the ISO file. I have downloaded the ISO file from the Arch Linux website. I select the ISO file. Arch Linux is automatically detected. That is very nice. Next step is to define the memory and the CPU settings. I will take 12 CPUs for my installation. Next is let me take 50 gigabytes for my disk image. I can go next forward. Let's give the virtual machine a name, Arch Linux GNOME. And I want to customize the configuration before the installation. Virtual network is set to default NAT, so the new virtual machine should have internet connection from the beginning. Let's click on finish. Next one, I will use a new EFI system for my installation. CPUs, I change the topology of my system to 162. This depends also on your processor that you have installed on your system, but this is also very well documented in the Arch Linux wiki. Click on apply. Next one is the boot option. So I need to activate the Arch Linux installation ISO, move it to the beginning and enable the boot menu and click on apply. The next is checking the hard disk. Yes, the disk bus is set to virt.io. This gives us later on the best performance on the system. We are ready to install. Let's begin the installation. The system boots up. And I choose the first entry, Arch Linux install medium. We are now in the Arch Linux ISO. First thing is I need to load my German keyboard layout with load keys D dash Latin one. Let's check the internet connection with ping www.google.com. Yes, we have an internet connection. Then we are ready to install Arch Linux with GNOME with the Arch Linux installation script. Just enter Arch install. This menu pops up and you can configure the installation now to your needs. The Arch install language is English. The keyboard layout in my case is DA. Um, enter slash to search for a keyboard layout. Then local language. The mirror region is Germany. Local language ENUS. This is fine. Local encoding UTF-8. Absolutely fine. The drives. I choose the whole new virtual disk for my installation. You see, see it here. Size 50 gigs. The disk layout. I wipe all selected drives and use a best effort default partition layout. I use ButterFS as my file system. Yes, I want to have the ButterFS subvolumes. This can be used later on to create snapshots with Timeshift or Snapper. I use the, the ButterFS compression. This encryption is not needed. Bootloader, I prefer having grub. That's why I will change it here. Swap to fine hostname Arch Linux find as well the root password. I also want to add a user. Yes, and the new user should be a super user and can run sudo commands. I confirm this and exit. Profile. Now we come to the point where we select the desktop environment. As set I will choose GNOME and I use all open source 
graphics drivers. Audio, Pipewire. Additional packages not needed. The network configuration. We have already a network connection and I want to copy this network connection into the installation. When we boot up for the first time into the new system, we should already have an internet connection established. The time zone, in my case, Berlin. Sync automatically is fine and that's it. No optional repositories needed and we can start the installation. I confirm this configuration with enter and the Arch Linux installation starts. The installation of the core packages has just started. And now the GNOME desktop environment will be installed. The base system is already configured correctly. It's already installed correctly. And now the desktop environment installation starts. Installation is done. Select no. And that's it. Installation done without errors. Now it's time to start into the system for the first time. I enter exit and enter reboot. Grub bootloader successfully installed. I can select Arch Linux and the system is booting up. And the login screen appears. I select my user, I enter my password and I'm in the base installation of GNOME 44 on Arch Linux in the virtual machine. The next feature that I want to activate is the usage of the common clipboard. So what's the situation after the installation? When I copy text from the host into the guest system, it's not working. Yeah, so the text does not appear. I need to install an additional software. Let me open the console and install sudo pacman s spice vd agent. And if this is done, I reboot the system. And now let's try it again. I open the editor, copy the text and paste it in. Now it's working perfectly. Now I can copy and paste text from the host to the guest and back. Now let's change the screen resolution. Right click on the desktop, display settings and I choose the screen resolution that fits to my requirements and I click apply. In the last step, I want to improve the performance of the graphical interface. To do this, I have to install an additional software, console, and it's a driver package called XF86 Video QXL. I start the installation. Installation is done and then I have to reboot a power off the system. Then in the video section, select QXL and in display spice, you should see this setting. So normally nothing to change here, but if this is done, you can restart the virtual machine again. And with that driver activated, you should have a good graphical performance on your Linux guest in the virtual machine. Switch to full size. You can change the screen resolution with display settings. In my case, I choose the high screen resolution here and I keep the changes and everything fits perfectly on my monitor. If you want to stay up to date, subscribe to my channel and see you next time.